Sheltering from the sweltering September heat, survivors of Morocco's earthquake spend another day coming to terms with the tragedy that has befallen this shaken community. Temporary shelters for those left homeless by the earthquake have been set up across this region. Many of the tents that you can see here have been supplied either by the Moroccan government or by local organizations and charities. But the Moroccan government has also requested assistance from members of the international community. And we've seen these international teams on the ground providing support not only on the search and rescue front, but also with the humanitarian relief effort. The immediate priorities for our team is always saving life. Uh, following on from that, where we can help medical assistance, identify humanitarian needs, so that even when that rescue phase does close, we've provided all the information we can to help the humanitarian relief that will follow us. Across the quake zone here in Morocco, there has also been an outpouring of support from the local community, with donations of food, water and medication. On a toujours le besoin au niveau des tentes. But volunteers here tell us they still need more tents and, crucially, long-term support with the rebuild effort. The government says the reconstruction of homes lost in the disaster is a priority. But for so many impacted families, there is no telling how long it will be before they have a real home to return to. Neda Bashir, CNN, in Amizmiz, Morocco.